Hello, hello, Gemmies. I hope that you're doing great, feeling blessed and highly favored. My name is Marie. I'm the energy behind this channel. All right, so we're going to be doing an overall general reading. Let's see what's coming up here for you. Um, as well, I just want to give you the heads up. We're going to be looking into what energy you're going to be claiming as an overall and energy when it comes to love as well. All right, so this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, of course, Boss, Watcher, Snoopy, Snoops, YouTube, Baby Cakes, or re 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 reverse the roles however you need to. All right, so, all right, please give us this energy, uh, past, present, future. So Gemini, please do know that this is not a personal reading, whatever you resonate with, you resonate with, whatever doesn't apply, let it fly. Feel free to look at your other placements to see if you resonate with uh, those other readings instead, or if you want to get the bigger picture. All right, so let's see. Past energy, you have the aid of Raphael, okay. Hmm. Five of Raphael within your current energy. So we have the eight of Oh yeah, yeah, Jemmy's. What were you going through? Okay, so we have the eight of cup energy showing up here for you, wanting to experience more, wanting to have something different in life. I was like, there's a great pause in action. It's like you want something more in life of whatever is that you're experiencing or living at this current moment. It's like whatever this is, it definitely has to do with something that you want to experience uh, being more spiritual. It's a spiritual quest that is showing up here for you within the past. Some of you might have gone through some sort of depression. Um, you know, there's a call for action in the spirit. Being discontent, disconnected with whatever was here um, from the physical. Now, like I see, usually this energy of the Eight of Raphael, the Eight of Cup as the hermit on the go. So it's like, you're not just staying there. There was a time, yes, but you chose to see what were the next possible actions. And with the current energy, you have the Five of Raphael. The Five of Raphael is the Five of Cup energy. So you're not exactly happy about whatever is that you went in for or how a person repaid you. But it's like you're choosing and you're going to be choosing to release the regrets and embracing the opportunities that are going to be bestowed upon you. Okay. What comes in this, it's like you had to reach in this point of being at your limits at the breaking point of a situation. All right. You got Ace of Ariel. I love this. A lot of people have been getting this. There's a lot of prosperity, a lot of abundance, security. Um, and this is uh, more so of an acknowledgement, also money, promotions, all that goodness. But within the energy, I want to clarify that for you. I think it's very important for us to clarify this. Yeah, the death, clarifying this. So there is needed change that needs to happen in a 901. So you might be a little scared, um, dealing with a little scarcity here as well about, you know, what's coming forward. You're, you work so hard to put yourself in a position, situation here worked a lot with your healing but there's no need to be scared you have this hey so one's giving you this confirmation that you're going to be very successful whatever's that you're trying to do within your future position you have the six of ariel so this is telling you the material needs are going to get fulfilled there is no need to just hold back with resources, some of you, I mean, it is what it is. If you need to, please do so. That's making you feel that you're at peace or you're going to be taken care of. Um, you will have acts of kindness coming here. For the six of Ariel, because you have been fair, because you have been trustworthy, because you have been logic, kind, you're going to be receiving this kindness, this logic, this abundance back of whatever is that you gave. And you will receive this in magical ways. I do see you having a grateful heart, helping others as well still. But this is about giving and receiving. Can I please see more of this Six of Ariel? You have Ace of Cups. Your heart is full. 
running over and we have the 10 of pentacles something plays out here for you something that you have been waiting for especially with the 10 of pentacles that energy is of uh, um having so many like we see this pentacles right it's like the little stepping stones and look at you here with this the queen of cups because you have a great heart a be very beautiful pure heart this is what's going to propel you and send you right to the finish line, right where you need to be successful so it's telling you here believe in what you contribute here allow i do see that within the energy you are stepping into surrendering to your complete healing and to your complete embrace of the change of whatever needs to happen here and your cup will be full and this is also for some of you obviously looking for love or trying to connect with others it is telling you yes you will be finding that significant other and we'll definitely touch on that very very soon okay but this is about receiving support and other situations how other people see you, 10 of Gabriel. Uh, people see that you need help. You may not be asking for this. Maybe working too many hours here. The 10 of Gabriel is about being tired, even spiritually. Like the spirit is way moving at much a faster pace than maybe our body here. And the will of fortune, it is sideways. It was in reverse, but it's saying like right now you are in a complete stop. Other people see that you, maybe you've been doing, dealing with the same shit every day. It's like, I always, Gemini, they always got something going on. Like, they never, you know, stop. Um, they never get out of something to get into another thing. But this is telling you here, there will be a soon end of delays where you don't have to be stuck so much. This is just part of whatever you need to reflect on. I do feel like here, you're grateful of whatever you've lived, but it's like, you're tired. You're tired of the same old, same old. And they here with the 10 of Gabriel, thank goodness. This is an energy that is telling us you will be stepping into something new. Some of you also changing jobs, homes, traveling, doing whatever it is that you need to do that makes the spirit happy and feeling free. With the Wheel of Fortune, of course, we already know that's Lady Luck stepping in here, things uh, having divine appointments, thing coming in for you at the right time, right place. But with the Wheel of Fortune being in reverse it is telling us it's just not time just a little bit more just a little bit more gemini within the challenge here you might be feeling the challenge is money you're like you know like we don't have enough resources but goodness gracious you are going to receive it we did see the ten of pentacles somewhere here um there is so much to be grateful for remember count your blessings the challenge here the block is to really look and how far you've come okay um and the promise of a this is telling you here, the promise of retirement, financial success is here. You will be very wealthy, like stop holding on so tightly to your finances. I mean, it did seem in the beginning that you were, but here with a wheel of fortune, queen of wands, trust yourself and your decision-making as well. Trust your ability to trust your intuition. The kitty cat here does represent that intuition that we do have. Um, and here's the, you're choosing happiness. You're choosing happiness. All right, here, let's see what's going on. It's popping. Hmm, okay. The overall energy that you're claiming is family with the seven of Gabriel, which is a seven of want. So what's going on here? You're doing things for people who you see as family. Um, wanting to have a family maybe here in the future. But this is about you standing up for what you believe in, standing up for what you believe in. And this is the energy that you're going to be claiming. You're not going to back down from any of this. You're doing things with full of love, moving on from whatever is holding you back, not being so stubborn, you know, getting your wishes granted here. But with family, you're claiming the energy of family doing it for your children, for some of you, or the children that you want to have in the future. It is very, very beautiful, especially with family. It's all about support. So it's telling you, it could be even your angelic support, your spiritual support, your spiritual family here. Please, please, please connect. And I'm hearing right now, focus on you, what you will attract because you will. Something that came up for another reading, I can't remember who it was, but one of the messages that came through was to not give in to negative thinking, negative thoughts, because it creates negative self-proclaimed prophecies. 
to be very mindful of that. When it comes to love, uh oh, okay, one thing is very important here. When it comes to love, you have the career energy sideways, which means you might be not to focus on your career in the near future. Some of you is very important because you have financial health in the bottom of the deck. Um, but again, with the tree. So this is telling you some of you may find love all the time at work. You need to cut that out because it's making you feel iffy or the other person iffy is not making you feel so good or you're not even handling situations however you need to do with work stop dating your co-workers okay but this is telling you here you with the page of ariel you're receiving good news you're receiving new love page of ariel is about people who's sending you messages that you you know they text you receive it via email um but here's like you're very clever you're very happy there's an excellent opportunity that you're going to be offered love pretty soon uh, with a page of ariel people want you people are attracted to you you're funny you challenge them but the only thing here is like with that, you may be too busy with your career. And I do see you making time and effort to connect to others, um, even connecting with your family. You might meet someone in the family gathering if you're single and looking. Here, woo the messages come in, eight of wands. You have the 10 of cups, your heart is full. Things are going to be stepping in here for you. For some of you that are looking into uh, finances career, obviously not everybody, but we have the eight of Ariel, which is telling you, ching, 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 a ling, money is coming your way. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice, practice makes perfect. Abundance is coming in. Downloads are coming in. It's not just love, but a lot of abundance is stepping in here and your energy. So within the three of Ariel being your overall outcome or energy that you look forward to, it's telling you you're going to be a game player. This is you need to do what you love, connect to others as well. Don't do things all by yourself. Reflect, learn, and receive the freedom that you need from connecting with others. Um, there's a great cooperation with other people here. There's new career endeavors. Ace of Pentacles comes in here again. You have it twice. A lot of you have had it twice. It's beautiful because it's giving you the calm that you need, the peaceful energy within your energy that you need to surrender, call to action. It is telling you here, surrender your intuition, tune into your inner voice, be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that connect you with whatever and give you the answers that come here to guide you. There is emotional healing here. There is physical healing, spiritual healing, and financial healing. And you will definitely take advantage of that sooner or later. But a lot of you are in the face of just leaving the past behind. And that is very, very beautiful. And you're not going to be deterred by the challenges. You're bossing up. Definitely being a boss. All right, my beautiful Geminis. Love you, love you, love you. We will connect again very soon. Until next time, beloved. Namaste.